we had um, these sheds behind the school that um, the children had painted a few years ago with their faces, the primary sevens had, when they were leaving. And that had been fun at the time, but it was looking very sort of um, worn and um, not very attractive anymore. And so it was in fact Olivia herself who came and said, would you be interested if um, she was prepared to do it, if we would like a mural painted? She suggested that she would talk to the children as a whole, talk to the whole school, and then go around the classes um, and then try and get as many ideas um, from them as to what they would imagine would be in a night garden and a day garden. We're absolutely delighted with it because, you know, as you can see, it's a really beautiful mural. It's got so much detail and it's lovely to see, you know, child images um, but painted so beautifully on the wall. The children are fascinated by it. Olivia also did a, she didn't mention in um, her, her speech, but she did a, um, a little missing dog notice on one of the trees and then the last thing that she put on the mural was a tiny dog hidden in the mural so all the children have got the task of trying to find the missing dog so they really enjoyed doing that as well. Um, well we painted some of the drawings and we painted some of the background like the grass and some other things. So it's got a gate there and then it's got lots of trees and flowers and animals. And it's got a few tree houses and a slide and in the background there's some buildings. And this one's a daytime one and that was a nighttime one. Well we started the drawings we'd done last October and I started the painting in May but just in odd times, weekends, evenings and I finished it off during the summer holidays. But I think altogether painting time was about 70 hours. So I'm very, very pleased. I think it, it looks great. Better than I would have imagined. I think it's got a magical feel of, of childhood to it. So I'm very, very pleased indeed.